we we are going to outreach to the colleges and get um, geologists, specialists, and, and paleontologists, if necessary, to to really guide us. And so we have the best product and the most comprehensive product. That we Amber, provide. could I jump in here for a minute? Yes, I'm going to go back to your question. I do not question the science that's been done as it relates to the geology and paleontology. It's very well documented out there. Um, I think it do you disagree? I disagree completely. I've done all the primary work out there. I wrote a letter to the uh, Bureau of Reclamation last summer in which I talked about the resources. There is one scientific paper published by Jalen Eberly at the University of Colorado Boulder based on reconnaissance field work. There's one PhD thesis at the University of Boulder by Mike Middleton, which is not published. The area is very poorly researched. We know enough to know that there are superb fossil resources that are world class and one of a kind. And it's a very unique site. It's unique in Colorado. It's one of the only sites of its kind in the Western North American landscape. It's also one of the only early Paleocene sites in the world, and it is not well documented. And I'd like to see the documentation if you believe it is well would documented. Would you like us to document it now, or would you like us to wait until the process is further along? Would I think you like the county to spend significant resources right now in the upfront phases? Or would you prefer we wait to see if this project goes forth beyond this point? I mean, are you telling me as PhD from the Museum, Museum of Nature and Science that you're uncomfortable with the work that you've done? Because I'm surely not. So that's, a, that's, a nice, that's a nice way to put it. No, I'm, 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 I could just, I'm not. I'm very comfortable with the work you've done. But on the same token, from a resource management perspective, right. if this project does not go forward, we don't need to submit and spend a bunch of dollars and resources looking at paleontology, looking at the geology. I think there's a basic understanding of the geology and paleontology on this site. If there was a basic understanding, this wouldn't even be an issue. Well, I disagree with you there. No, you're going you're to destroy that paleontology resource by putting a trail system into that area. So and let me just respond to the on the bluffs part. There are certainly fossils on the bluffs. But the type of fossils that are found here are small vertebrate fossils. They're things like dinosaur bones, crocodile skulls, turtle bones, turtle scoots, mammal jaws, mammal teeth. And typically in size, they're less than the size of my fist. And those kinds of fossils are best found on flat surfaces near bluffs. So they actually erode down on the flat surfaces. So the flat surfaces themselves are also important. The only areas that wouldn't have the fossils are areas that have been subsequently covered by slope wash or slope debris. Keep in mind though, as part of the planning process, if it goes to the actual design of the park, one of the key aspects of this is going to be looking at avoidance. Designing around the resources. You know, that's been done many places. But, but the case property is largely the paleontological resource. I mean, to design around it, you have to not go on it, is the way I would look at that. That's one opinion. And I respect your opinions and thoughts on that. I mean, you're probably one of the best resources available in the world. And I'm not arguing that with you, ma'am, or you. But on the same token, we're at the very early stages of this planning process. So, and just a final point of clarification. When you say the site is well documented, what do you mean? Well, obviously, you and I have a disagreement of terms. You know, you're the PhD professional. You're saying it's not as well documented. I'm saying, based upon the preliminary literature research, there's a pretty good understanding of what should be expected in the area as far as fossil resources and those kind of things. Work. And I think that the key point of Crowd Bluffs is it has been identified as a site of extreme importance. That does not mean it's well documented. Those are two different things. Okay. Right? But again, do you want, do you county taxpayers wanting us to spend a bunch of money right now and digging into the geologic resources when we have a halfway there's, there's, there's no up. county tax money can, involved. That's can, the whole can I Can I finish, sir? Yeah. I'd be more than happy to answer your questions there's, afterwards. There is no tax money involved. I, would you let me finish, sir? Go ahead. Mr. Hill, I'd like to um, collect some information from this gentleman. Great. One of our comment forms. Um, so that we can get your contact information and say these documents. The county tax money is being done. The, the whole allegation of this thing is that no county tax money is going to be spent. We feel that the money should be, this non-tax money should be spent now. 
when are you going to start spending the money after you get the June 20th and you've already made a, a uh, purchase the property then you're going to go and spend all this non-tax money, admittedly non-tax money, but money that could be used for other parks. You're going to wait until you've found out that you shouldn't be developing this as a dirt bike park at all. When are you going to, when, we're in the preliminary stage. We're looking at June 20th is when the State Park Board meets. Um, we're looking at the 16th or 17th for the Board of County Commissioners to say they want to go ahead. So you got April, May, and June. So are you saying the studies will be completed in the next three months? Is that what you're saying? We're here collecting the preliminary information. No, could you answer my question? Is it going to be done in three months? We're here collecting the preliminary information right now to feed into the planning process. This is a process that will proceed as Mr. Wolken indicated earlier. We're collecting that information now. We're here seeking input from the community. Will it be final in three months? That's will my question. Be final? Your study. The work we are going to do is preliminary reconnaissance work. We are collecting scientific information. So you need to go We're ahead and buy the property not having final information, not knowing whether you can even use this as a dirt bike park. Again, is that correct or incorrect? Again, we are collecting scientific data. When will you have the final information? I would encourage you to discuss that with Mr. Wolf. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm unclear. We're supposed to be collecting preliminary information. What is the criteria? You already recognize that there is some significance associated with the fossils, the paleontology of this. What is the criteria that is the breakpoint um, on any of these cultural resources? Who defines that? Where would that will all be defined as part of the planning process. Again, we're here looking at the scientific data. We are looking at the cultural resources. We are looking. But you're not when you're asking Dr. Cook Johnson not to provide any more information. No, I didn't say to Dr. Johnson not to provide any information. I'm saying right now, we agree there's valuable geologic and paleontological resources here. Absolutely. Okay. I'm not disagreeing with Dr. Jones. But you're not quantifying that you would have enough information to establish a criteria for a decision. Again, you're trying to say that we're doing preliminary so that we can know whether to go for and expend our tax dollars or our county dollars, whatever it is, dollars. When you go into a scientific project, you have to collect data that you can analyze and you can evaluate. And you have criteria that assesses what's the threshold on that. Again, we're collecting data. We are in the preliminary data collection phase. Yes, ma'am. I have one question. Um, the data collection is preliminary. You don't want to spend taxpayer money, whether it be state taxpayer or county taxpayer money, on a uh, cultural and floral and fauna assessment. Yet, uh, Mr. Walker is already talking about spending money on hiring a national consultant to design this dirt park. When, if you're really proceeding scientifically, you ought to have your criteria for go, no go. You ought to be collecting that data to satisfy those criteria, and you ought to be making the go, no go decision before you talk about hiring your national consultant to design this thing. Well, you're happily in, you're in discussion money with that gentleman. But you're arguing the paleontology. I'm sorry, ma'am. I mean, you're happily spending that money prematurely up front, but you're arguing the money to spend the paleontology. The, Again, the when we get to that, if we get to that stage, there's are, going to be additional study. We are to the point of needing to hire a consultant to design the park if the park hasn't been found. Right. Right. Again, I'm talking here about the the scientific aspects, yes sir. So you're guaranteeing me right now that you will not hire that guy to make the trails until you've decided. I didn't say that, sir. Oh, then why? Then let's go ahead and spend the money on him. Uh, that's my that's thought. That's reasonable. That's logical.